Hi guys, I've done another build. This one is horror and horror is my favorite. So I'm really excited about this one. So we may as well start out right here in horror. Let's click on horror. And this will bring you extended info mod in the genre of horror. The submenu has a new add-on called Affliction. Let's take a look. So this will pull right up to the horror section in Affliction. And you have Trending Horror, Best of Horror, Classic, Horror Comedy, Slasher Films, Torture, Disturbia, Psychological and Thrillers, Haunted, Supernatural, Witches and Demons, Monsters and Zombies, Japanese Monster Movies, Family Frights, and Search for Tract. So there's lots of great categories in here. Let's take a look at the family. There you go, some good choices if you're looking for something with the younger crowd. Some of these lists will pull straight from TMDB or Tracked. So the first time you pull them, they'll be a little bit slower. And then the next time you go in, it'll be cached and will load much quicker. So that's the horror section. Let's go back one. And here's the main. You have movies, TV shows, documentaries, tunes and anime, music, pair and authorize, settings, and search. So let's go into the settings. So by default, the metadata is turned off. So that will give you information about the movie. So if you don't need a description, you can leave it disabled and it will load everything much quicker. If you want the information, you can come in here to settings and turn it on. You also want to go down to your resolvers and enable any of these things you're going to use. So if you use Debrid and the open load links, you want to enable them all. Then you want to go over and hit OK. And there's a pairing tool right here. And there you go. So you can choose the sites here. And if you go down, you can authorize your real Debrid and your tract. That's a nifty little tool, thanks to Special K. So let's go into movies. You have trending, popular, now playing, top rated, movies by year, all the genres, and then there's some lists down here. Here's horror, sci-fi, fantasy, Tarantino greats, my favorite, best of comedy, best of the 80s, black and white, and then you have your list for your own tract here. Let's back out and go into TV shows. You have trending, popular, horror TV, sci-fi TV, classic TV from the 70s and 80s, binge box TV, that's for all the binge-worthy programs, all genres, all networks, Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, and your tract. And there's some TMDB you can pull up here as well. So that's Affliction. Next we have Slaughterhouse. And this is by my friend Magnetic. There's horror movies, TV shows, zombie, slasher, possessed souls, vampires and monsters, pair, authorize, your settings, and search. After that, we have Gotham Horror. This is the greatest horror section ever. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. And there's some awesome lists in all these add-ons, so it's really easy to find something good. So there's horror by year, directors, 
production companies, genres, Wicked Ends, 4K, Disturbia, Ubaz, top horror films of all time, horror TV, Troma, Best of the Worst, One Click Horror, Random Horror, Live Horror Channels, and there's some non-horror down below. Music, superheroes, adult cartoons, superhero TV. That is a great one. Next we have Killer Docs. Those are all your documentaries. Then horror box sets. From Box Set Kings Reborn. This is awesome. Then you have your hard TV. And that comes from Yoda. I heard this show is really good. I'm going to start watching that tomorrow. Then you have your Night Terrors. Lots to choose from in here. Too many to read off. <laughs> So make sure you take a look at Night Terrors. Lots of stuff. Then Who Done It? This is from Death Star. If you like mysteries, make sure you check this one out. So there's lots of good choices here. And if you click up, you have hidden widgets. And these are all one-click horror from Death Star. All right, that's the horror section, guys. I love it. <laughs> okay, so after that, we have classics. So if you click on classics, that will bring up Metallic 4 Cute. You can choose movies, TV shows, music, channels, playlists, and you can search here. If you click up, you'll get classic black and white movies from Death Star. And the sub menu has black and white. That's an example of pulling metadata. It takes a little bit longer. So black and white comes from Aspis. Then there's DNA classics. The greatest black and white movies of all time. That's what the widgets come from, that section. Then there's a huge list of black and white movies, top classic TV shows, and mixed classic TV shows. After that, we have Fright Flicks for some horror. So you can choose here by year. And then there's a whole bunch of other ones you can use. There's so many good add-ons that have great horror sections. This one is from Wolfpack. And then Classic Horror. And this comes from Fido. And this will bring up a big list of classic horror movies. Then you have Classic TV. And these are the classic 70s and 80s from Affliction. And there's Batman. And everybody knows I love Batman. So after classics, we have anime. I didn't do a kids section in this build. Instead, I've done anime and adult cartoons. So if we click on anime, that brings up the add-on dubbed anime. Very simple, search, genres, and latest episodes. If you click up, you'll get Wolfpack Anime. The submenu has Wolfpack Anime, Dubbed Anime, Toons Anime. This one comes from Affliction. The top list is your anime, and down below are your cartoons. So you have your IGN Top 100 Animated Series, Adult Cartoons, Classic Cartoons, and Animated Movies. And you can also search. Next is Toon Mania. 
and this one comes from Star Tech. So that is Toons and Anime. Then you have your Adult Swim and your Cartoon Network. And that's your anime section. Then I put in another favorite of mine, sci-fi. There's a lot of sci-fi horror too. So if we click on sci-fi, you'll get extended info mod. And if you don't know, you can go over here to the left and you can do a search or you can filter here by genre. There's some other filters you can do as well. If you click up, you get the widgets that come from Affliction. And they look cool, don't they, as GIFs? So Affliction's sci-fi section has Search TMDB, Futuristic Apocalyptic, The Trekkie Collection, The Star Wars Collection, Alien Collection, Trending Sci-Fi, Marvel Universe, Best of Sci-Fi, and DC Universe. So that looks awesome, right? The submenu has Affliction. We'll pull up the same list we saw in the widgets. Same categories we just went over. But here you can see how they look. Those animated posters are awesome. All right, so after that, there's copy and paste. METV. And that'll give you your sci-fi by years. Supremacy. And Yoda Sci-Fi TV. There you go. After sci-fi, we have extras. If you click there, you will get your favorites once you've added them. The widgets are from Death Star. And here I've put a second row of widgets. If you click up, you'll get widgets from Gotham. So you can access all this content in Death Star and all of this content in Gotham. So I thought that was a great shortcut. The submenu has box set kings, which is awesome. All the box sets you want for movies and TV are there. Numeria is documentaries from Death Star. A lot of good ones here. Then you have FDJ HD. Let's take a look at that. And this is by French DJ, if you know, documented or alive. There's more categories in here. There's a search, there's flash doc, documented, alive, beats, movie games, amazing, humor, and info. Let's take a look at amazing. So this here at the top is amazing people. And down here you've got magicians and illusionists. I think that's really cool. Then humor. If you're looking for some comedy, some laughs, you can go right here. So that's a cool little add-on. Then you have DNA stand-up for some more comedy. Then there's Wumper Fruit. And there's some really good lists in here. Copy and paste. They also have some great lists, so I put them in too. Whole bunch of them. So if you're looking for ideas, I love these add ons for that. Then there's Star Tech. And they have a great all in one add on. Lots of categories, lots of lists in that one. Then Affliction, which we've looked at already. And then there's Fido. And they have some really good sections too. So make sure you check them all out and see what you like the best. So that is it for extras. 
Next is music. Clicking on music. This brings you Let's Rock from Death Star. So this is all rock music. My backgrounds are all rock and metal, so there I put it there. The submenu has Jukebox Hero, MP3 Streams, Star Tech, Beats, and Fido. If you click up, you'll get widgets from Alive. Then after music is your add-ons. If you click on it, you can go to My Add-ons or your Install Froms. Clicking up, you'll get your video add-ons. The submenu is all your add-ons, a search, video, program, and music. Next is settings. Clicking up, you'll get widgets from the wizard. So you can quickly get to things in the wizard. System, all of your system items, obviously. There you go. There's your horror panels. <laughs> Have fun with that. And the submenu has File Manager, Install From, Skin Settings, The Wizard, and Advanced Settings. So if you want to click on that, you can set the best settings for your device. It can help with your buffering. Then there's Power. You have Authorized Tracked, the Pairing Tool, and Authorized Real Debrid. Okay, so here we are in Movies. Clicking on Movies will give you Extended Info Mod. The submenu has Yoda, Uranus, Deceit, Supremacy, Maverick, Affliction, House of Blue, and DNA. The widgets here, they come from Affliction. I put them here because they look super cool. <laughs> if you guys want to change the widgets or if you want to take widgets out, I'll show you how to do that too. There's a gift that I made. <laughs> All right, so after that, there's TV shows. If you click there, Extended Info Mod. The submenu has Yoda, Uranus, Deceit, Supremacy, Magic Dragon, Star Tech, Affliction, 24-7, and latest TV shows direct links. And that comes from Maverick. The 24-7 comes from Aspis. And the widgets here, I just put in little shortcuts. So again, if you don't like it, you can change it up. But I put in Supremacy TV Shows. So it's like it's like going into an add-on just by clicking up. So I thought that was cool. Highly rated, most viewed, trending, popular, genres, networks, ratings, airing today, new episodes, TV calendar, my TV shows from Tracked, Actor search and search. So I thought that was cool. Tell me if you guys like this idea. I just thought it was like a shortcut. I thought it was pretty cool. Another one I put in, if you click up again, for Aspis. So you can get right into Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, popular, networks, genres, shows airing today, top rated, and on the air. So let me know what you think of that. Okay, so then that brings us back to horror, and that is the build. So let's go into settings. For your widgets, you want to go into your skin settings. And over to set up and Knox main menu. And choose each category that you want to change or get rid of your widgets. So go over in TV shows, go over to the right. And here I had the supremacy panel, so click there. And you go down here to select widget. So if you don't want it, you also go in here and you click none. So if you click none, they'll be gone. If you want to choose your own widget, so don't go into here, you need to go into add-ons. So keep scrolling down. 
If you select favorites, you can choose them, so that's very convenient. Um, if you want the add-on, you click add-on. You want a video add-on, and then choose your video add-on, and from there you can choose sections as well. So let's say you want deceit. Let's click on that. And we're in TV shows, we're going to go into that category. Okay, so you would just click here, use as widget. If you want to go back, you go up one and hit back. And you can choose anything you want for a widget. So I'm just going to back out and cancel. So if you want to disable the intro video, we're going to go back into skin settings. And you want to scroll down here to extras, over to the side, and you would click disable startup intro. So make sure you guys set everything the way you like it. I set it up the way I like it, but everybody likes their own thing. So after you've made any changes at all like that in the skin settings, it's important that you power off this way. So you want to click right on power, and that will save everything that you've done. Okay, so let's install it. There's a new address for you guys to get my builds, although this is the only one on the wizard right now. The other ones will be returning shortly. Okay, so you want to go to your file manager. You do that in a fresh Cody at the gear. You want to add source. Click in the box that says none. The address is http colon forward slash forward slash mad dog. dot ca forward slash cc forward slash capital E L E capital K T A so make sure you double check that and you have capitals where there should be and hit OK so you can rename the source or you can leave it as is and go down and hit OK so back out back out again Go down to add-ons and up to the file box. Now we want to install from zip file. You'll get this pop-up. Go into settings. Click to show notifications and click unknown sources. Go over and hit yes and hit back and back in to install from zip. Now find your item. Electa, click on it and click on the program zip. Now give it a minute. A plugin takes a little longer. And then you get a pop-up. So now you can back out and go into program add-ons and click on the wizard. So you want to go into builds. You can change a view on the side here. And you want to click on a fresh install. Then you can go over here and hit continue. And it will begin to download at 302 megabytes. So we'll let this run through. I'll meet you on the other side. And now you can go ahead and force close. And now you can reopen your Kodi. And there's your intro. And you can turn that off, guys, in the settings if you don't want it there. Always remember to give your build some time to do some updates before you start clicking around on stuff. And that's it for the build, guys. I hope you all like it. If you put on a Kodi fork, you can use this as a second build on your device. And now it is time to give thanks to my special helpers, awesome friends that answer endless amounts of questions <laughs> and have offered me such great support. I'd like to thank... TK, 
terrorize Cody. And if you haven't checked out his stuff, you really need to because he is so talented. And Klepto for various things. He's an awesome dude. And the very special Mr. Brackets, who is always there for something. <laughs> These guys are the greatest guys. So thank you so much to all of you and everybody in Jen. Now go run off everyone and get scared because it's time to enjoy your Fright Fest. And I'll see you all soon.